I'm gonna show you what happens when Laura bites Ryan. <laughs> you wanna cure Ryan and Laura of the werewolf disease and try not to end up like this. Let's get into it. So let's say like me, you was in this pitch black room and you started to fight with mama with a shotgun in hand and you accidentally blew her face off. <laughs> I don't know why you would do that, but unfortunately for her, her life is gone and Mr. J here is pretty upset about it. At this point, the entire Hackett family is completely hostile, so you have to run for your life. First things first, Laura is going to make a run for it. When Laura makes a run for it, make sure to dodge the bullet so that she survives to the next sequence. Congratulations, let's move on to step two. <laughs> Ryan gets stabbed in the side and unfortunately for him, he's going to make it upstairs and he's going to have to make a decision. This is step three, so be careful. Ryan is going to ask you if you want to pull out the knife, but do not pull out the knife. I mean, no, just no. If you don't pull out the knife, then congratulations, you move on to step three. Ryan has chosen to live and he's gonna go into the next room. There's gonna be a cabinet. Open the cabinet so that you find a hiding place to use a little bit later in the playthrough. And here's a bonus tip for you guys. There's actually the death tarot card right on top of the cabinet, so make sure you grab that. Moving right along, Ryan is going to walk over to the bed. He's going to see a present under the bed left from him by Bobby. But I don't think he wants it. He's going to take a peep through the keyhole and see if anybody's following him. And lo and behold, <laughs> Bobby's on the way. With that being said, now that you've found a hiding place, choose hide. And you can go straight into the cabinet so you can completely avoid Bobby. Once you get into the cabinet, hold your breath and wait for Bobby to move over to the left. Wait for the red to go away and then sneak past Bobby and leave the room. At this point, you're going to have a chance to block the doorway. So do that. Congratulations. You're moving on to step four. The game is going to switch to Laura. Laura is currently being chased by Jay and she's going to have a chance to hide in the bathroom. Make sure that she holds her breath so that she can completely avoid Mr. Jay and go into the next room. The next room is going to have a piano, a couple of items for you to look at, and a staircase. Head up the staircase, don't go in the room on the right, and take the hallway on your left. When you take the hallway on your left, you're going to go into a full combat sequence with Mr. J. Good luck on your quick time events. And then you have a choice to either run or continue fighting. If you fight Mr. J, you break his neck. But congratulations, you moved on to step five and you're almost done. With this being said, you've chosen a path. If you did not help Jacob escape in the prison, in the basement, then Jacob is going to have a little bit longer or shorter of a night than you are. <laughs> in my playthrough, I hadn't saved Jacob yet because I didn't know how to do the code. Now I know how to do the code. So if you would like to figure out how to help Jacob escape his situation, let me know in the comment section below. But until then, I guess Jacob and Nick are going to talk about that kiss Nick had with Emma. Thanks. With that being said, Ryan is still going to be running away from Bobby. Make sure you clear all of these quick time events and you squeeze through the wall and get ready to hold your breath so that Bobby doesn't find you. With that being said, in the next room, Bobby is going to eventually pull the knife out of your side and he's going to leave you there to bleed out. You stole my knife. Laura is going to drop down like Jesus and save the day and she's going to ask you if you want to be bitten. Tell her yes, bite me and do not pull away when she tries to bite you. With that being said, you and Laura are going to run into Mr. Chris Hackett in the rooftop or the attic and Chris Hackett and all of you are going to fall straight through the floor and make sure you blow his head off. You got about two seconds to do this, so good luck. Once you blow Chris Hackett's head off, congratulations, you're a terrible counselor because you just blew off your father figure, you know, guy's head. 
but you cured you and Laura of the werewolf virus. Plus, Max is also cured. So in the next video, I'm going to teach you how to help Max survive.